we realized that we were in the middle of, in the eye of the hurricane, and then we threw ourselves back into the hurricane shelter for another four and a half hours. Necker, your oasis of a private island in the Caribbean. Uh, how have you gone about building the island up over the years, and what's been involved with working to make Necker and the sister island you bought, Mosquito, uh, carbon neutral? Um, well, we didn't have any money to do anything with it when we bought it. Um, so over the years, if, if um, the Rolling Stones had a hit, we bought, we'd build one house. If Janet Jackson had a hit, we'd build another house. If the Sex Pistols had a hit, we'd build another house. If Mike Oldfield have, had a hit, we built another one, and Genesis another one. And so over the years, we've created a beautiful island. And then, you know, we, I, I spend a lot of time on issues, uh, global issues, and one of them is climate change, and therefore it's very important that, uh, that we can set a, an example ourselves. And we have a big array of um, solar and, um, and, you know, wind, and, um, and you know, we're almost self-sufficient on clean energy. And by, hopefully by the end of next year, we'll be completely self-sufficient. And, um, uh, and we're also trying to roll out um, to many, many islands throughout the Caribbean and help them become self-sufficient. How many hurricanes have you been in? I've been in one hurricane every 10 years. Um, the first three were extraordinary, magnificent, beautiful. The seas were unbelievable skies were unbelievable, the wind was unbelievable, uh, but the damage was not, by and large, too bad. Um, the last hurricane was um, anything but beautiful. I mean, it was um, effectively a Category 7 hurricane, um, over 200 mile an hour winds, um, and the damage was horrendous. Um, and so, you know, the last you know, couple of months since, since that hurricane, we've been working very hard trying to get the World Bank on board, to get the um, in, Inter-Caribbean Bank on board, to get um, the British government on board to, to help you know, re rebuild the Caribbean. And, um, and I think been reasonably successful and I think good things will come of it. And the reason we're here in the Bahamas at Baja Mar uh, for your famed Necker Cup is because of just the extent of the damage uh, to Necker in, in the Caribbean. How at the time were you witnessing the severity of it? Uh, I was uh, with, with my team in a bunker uh, under the main house um, for four and a half hours. We heard the screaming, screaming wind and then sudden hush. And then we poked our head out of the door and um, saw the utter devastation that, it, that had happened in those first four and a half hours. Um, and then we realized that we were in the middle of in the eye of the hurricane and and then the winds hit us from the other side and then we threw ourselves back into the hurricane shelter for another four and a half hours and um, uh, and at the end of it all um, yeah it was, uh, I've never seen any any devastation like it you know buildings that are literally disappeared not one tree left standing and all, what we were really worried about was you know, next to us were all our, all the people who worked on Necker Island um, in little you know, wooden huts and things. And you know, later that day we went over there, and and um, you know, people had lost their homes. And um, uh, fortunately, very little life was lost. I think because it was a daytime storm. But the Caribbean people are so resilient, and they've just you know they run it around. They've helped each other, and, and we you know we've got a, a foundation there with with Larry Page and. That's done a lot of good work there. My son's been great. And anyway, everybody, everybody, you know, just rallied around. And, and lastly, um, because for some people out of sight, out of mind, explain the importance of uh, continuing to, you know, bring attention to this area in the recovery efforts, just given the extent of the damage. I think, I, I, I mean, I think one thing that um, this teaches us is the reason that the hurricane was so strong and the strongest in history was that the sea levels were, had never been so high and so hot at, at, at this time of year. So, um, and, and this is the, this is the big danger of climate change: is that as uh, as the sea gets hotter, the hurricanes are going to get more strong and the damage is going to get stronger. And um, uh, and that's one of the reasons that 
you know, we, we're, we're working very, very hard trying to address climate change on a global basis and, um, and, that, and, and we'll continue to do so.